Hello. Hello. Put your head on my shoulder. As you can see, I'm not wearing any makeup. I'm just wearing this sweatshirt that I wore for like the previous month. But I wanted to film this intro even if I'm not really the best. Like, you can't even see my pimples from the camera. But anyways, we don't care. Actually, I think that if I just prepared a little more, my channel would maybe be and look better, but who cares? So in this video, I wanted to show you how I make bread because lately I've been making a lot of bread and I honestly made that really well. So I know that in quarantine people cannot really go out really often and that the supermarkets are basically empty all the time and necessary things like bread or flour in general is really running out of the supermarkets because everyone is buying that. So lately I've been making bread for these reasons because this way my family didn't have to go to the supermarket or to a bakery or something to buy bread but I could make that and it's honestly the easiest thing ever and we will be making two types of bread based on the flour that I had so I'll be making some camut bread and then some whole bread and they both became amazing like we usually eat the bread that I make in like one to two days and we usually don't eat the bread so fast so I really like them and maybe you like that too and maybe your family likes that so try to do that because it's also a way to to you know to do something because we're all so bored and so instead of watching a rom-com you could make some bread which is even better and funnier so there you have it! So we're starting off with the camut brand and as you can see here the main ingredient is the camut flour and then we will be using some fresh baking powder and then water, salt, some sugar and then some olive oil that I forgot to put in the video. So now we're pouring the water, not all the water but just a part of the water into the glass where we have the baking powder because it is a fresh baking powder and we have to make that a liquid. So now that the baking powder became a liquid we have to pour 500 grams of camut flour into a big bowl so as you can see here i'm measuring all the flour and then i'll pour that in a bowl now simply add one tablespoon of salt and one tablespoon of oil and then the baking powder that became a liquid as we said and then you start mixing and when you have that you let it rest for like one two three hours or whatever and then you can start mixing that with a precise technique i'm not sure if i should call that a technique but yeah let's call that a technique so it's basically folding that mix like horizontally and then vertically and you have to repeat that for several times so that in the oven that mix can grow even more I'm not really sure about how that works, but I did that and it turned out very well, so yeah. As you can see here, I'm just dividing that mix because I wanted to make two little pieces, but you can just make one, one whole bread and that's basically the same, so yeah, choose what you want, it's up to you. Here, as you can see, I'm just repeating that kind of technique that I told you before. I'm just folding that mix horizontally and then vertically so that in the oven it can become a bigger bread. So once you've done that, you have to let it rest for like 30 minutes and then you can start cutting them because you have to make some horizontal lines on the two loaves because in this way in the oven they can grow even more and I know that I talked about growing that bread for like basically the whole video but that's the most important thing so just make sure that your cuts are kind of profound and then once you've done that you can just put them in the oven and let them cook until they're like golden 
Unfortunately, I don't have any video about how they turned out, but they were absolutely amazing and I totally suggest you to do them. So the next one is the whole bread, which was even better. The ingredients will be just water, whole flour, the fresh baking powder, salt and olive oil, basically the same as the previous bread. The process is basically the same, we are pouring 500 grams of whole flour and then, as we did before, we are making that fresh baking powder a liquid, pouring in a part of the water that we have. When it became a liquid, as we can see in this clip, you have to put in the bowl with the whole flour one teaspoon of salt. That is really important for the flavor of the bread. Then simply pour in two teaspoons of olive oil and then the water that we have left and then the baking powder that now is liquid. So then you start mixing with the same process that we said before. As you can see I'm adding some sesame seeds and various seeds, honestly I don't even know the name but I just thought that making that a seed whole bread was amazing and in fact I totally love that. I made the whole bread before but I didn't add seeds and that was really something even better. Then you put that in a bowl and you cover that with something and you let it rest and then you put that in the oven as we did before and there you have it. It was literally amazing. So, I hope that you liked my video and that it was a sort of distraction for these third times that you're going through. And if you made that bread, let me know how it turned out, if the kitchen exploded or if it turned out very well. And if you love that, because I love the bread that I make. So thank you so much for watching and you can see my other videos like the one where I talk about the coronavirus under the point of view of an Italian girl. And also the previous video that I made is about other recipes, so you can see that if you want to. And yeah, so bye!